What's good guys, the Boxy Legends back with another video. In this video today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the new Roblox Studio. So apparently I heard that Roblox Studio been like improving and stuff like that. And apparently they got like a new design on their start page. So like when you load it up, there's going to be like a new design and today I'm going to be checking that out. Let's open Studio and see what they did. Then I open this up. Roblox Studio, so that's the same, but as you see when we log in, it seems like everything here is new compared to before. I remember before, like it looked like really old. I'm gonna look for a picture in a bit of it, but you guys can see everything looks new. It's all redesigned and modernized. For example, you could see over here on the side, they got like new icons and like new like options too. Because I think the templates used to be on the top, but now it's on the left. And also, they have Archive 2. And they have an option over here for a new file. And yeah, they, they changed everything pretty much. Let's take a look around the page. They have an option now for my recent experiences. So remember when you open Studio and it used to pop up with templates only or experiences? Now they got like everything pretty much because you could see they have a side, a column for my recent experiences over here and then they have another one for templates and down here they even have an option for discover studio which roblox never really had on the studio page before so you can learn how to build games on roblox studio now besides the dev page so yeah this is pretty cool let's try clicking see on let's see how it looks you can see the icons, like the way like they format the page is all different. And to me, it looks better. It looks more organized, better to see too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's take a look at templates now. And they still got the same basic templates. They released three this year though, 2024. The platformer, the laser tag, FPS system. And I'm pretty sure they released the racing this year too. And yeah, it's pretty cool guys. And archive, these are the games that like you don't want to make no more. It's crazy. They even got group experiences and stuff. And yeah, this is the new Roblox Studio design. Let's compare it to the old one now. And this is how Roblox Studio looked back then, as you guys could see. You can see it over here on the left. It's blue and like they had different icons too. And also, you can see the left bar is kind of like more like thin compared to the other one. And you could also see how whenever you start up studio, you always end up with the all templates option over here and you can see all the options too. And it looks pretty retro compared to right now, which looks right now it's like more modernized if you take a look around like the homepage experiences and all that. So that's pretty crazy. Let's take a, let's take a look for more pictures like the darker one. It still looks like pretty similar and this is how it looked like a month ago. But now they change it to this. And to me, I like the new one a, a lot better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And some of you guys might be wondering why Roblox decided to do all this. Well, according to the page, the dev forum, they're saying that they wanted to, to like renovate the page because the old start page was built in a very old UI framework that was the source of a lot of known hangs and performance issues. So basically, Roblox wanted to like fix all the glitches and stuff so they made the new page and they wanted to like make it like updated too not outdated because obviously we want new things not old things but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do smash that like smash the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace